Uh, the problem is that uh, we have now uh, different molecules available to treat uh, advanced melanoma. Uh, it's quite logical to try to move these drugs earlier in the disease. So you can imagine to treat patients with nodal disease, uh, that's one step, but you can even imagine to go earlier and to treat primary melanoma or uh, let's say primary melanoma before uh, the sentinel node dissection. So of course it's a complicated debate since we need uh, very safe drugs. We need to find a regimen uh, which are efficacious at an early stage, but we have to remember that uh, two things. That first, it's likely that we will be more efficient on the point of view of the um, let's say the societal else if we can intervene very early on the disease. Uh, and second, uh, that uh, most of the deaths uh, act, uh, at the present time from melanoma are coming from 2A and B melanoma and not from 3B and C. So even though we had a very good treatment for 3B and C patients, a patient will still, would still die of a melanoma. So we have to, to address these 2A and B uh, tumors. And I think we have now some drugs which could be very interesting in this, in this situation. Unfortunately, uh, the problem of treating the early disease is not really addressed now for uh, very good reasons. I mean, it's very costly to design and conduct such trials because you need to follow up patients for many years. And of course, companies prefer to embark uh, in uh, trials with immediate results. But at the end of the story, I doubt that we could cure all the patients if, if we address only the late, late stage of the disease. So we will have to move at one time to earlier disease to have a better impact on, on, on melanoma.